What's going on y'all? So it's your boy Rob from RTC Visuals and we are back with another video. Not a music video or a vlog, but this time a tutorial. This is for my beginner editors or intermediate editors that want to simply learn how to edit or add to the workflow. So if that's you and you fit this category, stay watching because we about to get into these edits. Let's go. Alright guys, now we are here inside of the computer. The first thing I want you guys to do is drag your song into your timeline like so. Now when you drag your song into your timeline first, it could possibly change your sequence settings. And if you shot in 24 frames per second while you were filming, then you would want to most likely edit inside of a 24 frame per second timeline. So you know, when you ch put your drag your song, go to your sequence settings and make sure your settings are right. Make sure it's either 23.976 frames or 24 frames, you know. Press OK. And the next step is find your first performer shot that you really want to work with and match it up with your song. So here you see, use your in and out points. Here I scroll through the first performance and I want to start here. So I put I. And actually, I want to use this whole clip, so I don't even have to put an out point because, as you can see here, the out point is on the end of the video. So, what I would do here is zoom in on my track list, listen to where I stopped on the performance shot. All right, guys, so when you find the part that you want to sync your first performance scene and your song you can also use the markers I and O ins and out points so you press I on where you would want to put your first performance scene and you drag it right there All right, so it's a little off, so I slide it up just a tad, it's not too off. You know, make sure you zoom in and get it exactly on point, guys. That is key. Make sure that your scenes are exactly matched up with your audio of your song because you're deleting the excess footage with the excess audio. Bear with me, guys. Sorry, guys. Computer's kind of slow. There we go, we got it on point. I should do it just one more second. I should bring it up. All right, so once you got it synced up pretty close, you delete the audio track from that track that you pulled in. And there we go, you got some synced up mouths with the words of the song. Now you can you continue doing that with the rest of your clips. So let's find another clip. Another performance shot. I already done found my end point, my start point where I want to use it. There we go, synced up. I have my two performance shots already synced up. Now, you do that with all of your performance scenes. I'm not gonna do that here because I've already finished this project. Link will be in the description below. But, 
you want to do this same step for all of your performance scenes 24 frames per second performance shots as well as your slow motion performance shots the ones that you know you're gonna slow down put those in as well and you work through your timeline as so you continue to just cut and make cuts where you, you know where you want whatever looks good whatever makes the artist look good and you usually want to make those cuts on beat drops hi-hat clicks you know something that's gonna match that cut with the sound that you're hearing but you just continue to move down your timeline cut up your footage All right, guys, now after chop up your scenes to the way that you want, to your liking, and you like how your whole sequence is looking from the beginning to the end with the way that you chopped up every single performance scene, let's get to your B-roll. Now, your B-roll can be done at the very, very end because you would want to get through the whole performance scene. Get through all of your performance scenes. So let's find some b-roll here you know like this shot here i got a b-roll shot of the kids you know dancing out there you know yeah we're just gonna use that just for example you know this is a clip that i also shot in slow motion and i know i'm gonna slow it down so you know let's say if i want to put this clip here Let's use our shortcut. If you're on Mac, hit Command R. Speed. Since I shot in 120 frames per second, I want to slow it down 40%. Adjust the clip accordingly. To my liking. And let's look at that. So let's imagine that this whole sequence is filled with other performance scenes. And I wanted some B-roll. Stretch that out just a tad so you guys can kind of see the slowness of that shot there. Probably could have used a better shot, but you know, this is just for tutorial purposes. And you know, you guys get creative and you know, do your own thing. You know, something like something of those sorts, you know. And you know you just basically find more and more b-roll you know as your sequence is cut up let's say you know I got more cuts in this here you know a lot more cuts and I wanted to add some more b-roll so you know I do this it's the same concept guys you just repeat the steps that we said earlier all the way into the end of your footage know you take this b-roll clip here I want to add it here like I said if you're on Mac command R so you can bring it up your clip speed duration tab change my speed to 40% and voila I have me some b-roll footage overlay with my performances you know something of those sorts You know guys that you just continue to cut up accordingly of course you're gonna have way more performance scenes than this tons more b-roll and you know you guys you just have to get creative and just finish to the end but the first step is make sure that your timeline is 24 frames per second or whatever you shot in or you want to shoot in or want to edit in make sure your sequence matches your footage Two, put your performance scenes in and match it up with the song that will make your job 10 times easier it makes cutting the footage 10 times easier because if you're just putting in clips single by single and trying to match it up cutting all that and then putting the other scene and cutting all that it's gonna be really tedious and you're not gonna have fun doing this so you guys get into your program have fun get creative there's no limitations to this program just make sure that you have your footage edit it all the way down before you edit anything all right guys now you take it easy we're out
Hey guys, so I'm glad that you stayed to the end of the tutorial. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, beat that comment section up with comments and questions, man. Leave what you want to see in the next video. What else you want to learn? I got more coming every Thursday, so stay on the lookout. Guys, stay on the lookout. We're going to continue working, and RTC Visual is out.